Hello all. So I got this Senville mini split that I'm going to be installing. So I thought I'd do a video on it, go through all the steps on how you can do it. And this is it right here. It's uh, this is the unit that sits outside. It's a condensing unit. And this unit right, this part right here will be sitting inside. And uh, this is a line set. It's a copper line set that runs in between them, uh, transferring the heat and the cold along with the wiring. And uh, I also have this. Um, I, I get these. I use these pads because it needs something to sit on. And so I buy these cheap pads. If you have a cement already, you won't have to worry about it. You could just set it on that. But uh, either way, you need something solid to sit on. So that's a personal choice. And you're also going to need um, uh, a vacuum pump, which I got this. I got this on Amazon. I think it was for $50. And some vacuum gauges. I got these for, I believe it was uh, $35. So uh, I'll be putting all the links inside the description for all these. And uh, you also need some electrical. This electrical doesn't come with it, so that'll be separate. And we're going to be installing the unit over here. And usually you just drill a hole through the wall. You run the line set on the outside and put a cover on it. But this right here looks like we could take this panel off and run it up the wall, inside the wall, which is a lot better. That way it's all hidden. So that's where I'm at. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the panel off. And I got a hole cut out, basically where the line set's going to be running up. Like I said, uh, most people just drill straight through a wall and they'll put a line cover kit on uh, after they run it outside on outside the wall. But this is going to be much more easier to run inside the wall since uh, it's just got this paneling on it. So that's the way uh, we're running it over here. And you also need this pad. But And uh, like I said, if you have cement outside, then you just set it on that. It just needs something solid to sit on. But these pads, they're really cheap. And uh, all you want to do is just uh, level it up and make sure it's level so it's got something solid and flat to sit on. But that's basically it. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And this is the inside wall unit. I got it out of the box here. It's going to be mounted up here somewhere. I'm at the drill a three inch uh, hole through the wall. So I'm at the figure where that's at. And this is all the instructions it comes with. Whatever you do, be sure to read the installation manual that comes with yours. Because uh, I'm showing you how I'm installing mine, but be sure to follow the instructions that come with your unit. And this is everything comes with. It comes with the remote, the manual, remote control illustration, uh, a mounting bracket for the remote, and some other, even comes with some batteries here. And uh, what we need to do is we need to take this bracket off the back and mount it first on the wall. So... Just comes out and this is gonna have to go this bracket is gonna mount up on the wall and then I'm gonna have to put a three inch hole for the line set the copper line set to run out to so that's gonna be my next step this needs to be level and I need to find some studs to put it on so that's where I'm at and I'll be right back all right so I'm back and I got the bracket up there it was a little bit of a pain trying to find some studs but I finally got it up there and uh, I didn't use their screws. I used uh, some regular wood screws to hold it up. They send this little bag of, uh, of these screws to stick in a sheetrock. And I didn't really like the way they look, so I just used some wood screws. They probably work, but uh, I just use wood screws. But anyway, I got the hole drilled. And uh, there it is. It's all level. And here's the unit. And so this, this is the line set. I bent it out. Is this going to have to go out the hole? Be careful when you're bending this line set because it can't kink. It's, it's really easy to bend. And if it kinks, it'll block the refrigerant and it won't work that well. So just bend this stuff really slow and be very careful with it. And the next step is to wire in this electrical. So here's the electrical line that was outside in that box. And I got this panel open. And as you can see, uh, here's electrical connections. It's fairly simple. The outside will have one, two, three, and I need a color code match these. And there's also right here on the door, there's also a schematic and there's, there's also one inside the manual. So, so whatever you do, be sure to follow what comes with your unit because, uh, you know, things can change and there's different size units too. So you definitely want to match this to this. But basically uh, what, what, what you want to do is uh, this inside of here will say one, outside is going to say one, inside here is going to say two, outside is going to say two and so on. You want to make sure these colors match uh, when they go outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up. I'll show you how I do it and I'll be right back. Okay, so there it is. I got it up there on the wall 
And I did the electrical, and uh, as you can see, it's right here. And uh, uh, the wiring color code was a little different than their schematic. But like I said, that doesn't really matter because outside on the unit, you're going to have one, two, and three. Just make sure your color codes match if, uh, if you do get a different. Hopefully you get uh, wiring that matches your schematic. But it's pretty simple. That's it. That's the inside unit mounted on the wall. So I'm going to go outside and get started on bolting that all up. And there's the unit. It's on the pad. It's ready to be hooked up. And this is the line set coming out the back of the inside unit that's on the wall. So these lines, this uh, copper line set is going to be bent down. It also has a water line that needs to be hooked up. And uh, so this is going to be bent down. Be, like I said, be careful when you bend this because it can't kink. You know, just take your time with it. It'll be okay. And uh, here's the line set that goes in between. As you can see you got the bolts on on each side. And uh, here's where it bolts on to the, to the outside unit. Here's the wiring outside. This is what I was talking about. Inside, make sure your color codes match. One, two, and three. And, you know, you'll have ground. L1 and L2, this is for power. Now, this unit is 240. They do have uh, 110, 115 units. So be sure to follow the instructions that come with yours. But this is 240, so I may have 240 coming in right here. And, of course, ground. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on running the line set next and uh, wiring it in. So uh, this is the line set right here, and it needs to be run from here on up to here where I'll be bending this down. So I'm going to go and get started on that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to show you too that these are pre-charged with nitrogen. So when you let these top unit out, which is on the wall, it, it's going to let out a little bit of air, but that's fine. That's not the Freon or the refrigerant. The refrigerant is inside of the, uh, inside of the main outside unit. So when you let these use, you'll, you'll hear a little air. And that's just letting you know that it's that it's sealed up. And that's that's nothing more than nitrogen in there. So you just gonna let it out. And uh and so and you if, as long as you hear that noise, you know there's no leaks in there, basically. Okay, so I'm tightening up this line set, and I just wanted to show you that when you do this, be sure to screw these on hand tight first before you before you tighten them up with a wrench. That way you know they're not uh they don't not getting stripped and some people use some sealant on these i never have and i've never had any leaks but i always test you know i may test with the vacuum but there is sealant you can use on these if you want to buy that and go an extra step on them you know there's, there's no uh, no harm in that uh but yeah just make sure you get them snug like that but the, now i'm going to use a wrench i won't be able to film because i'm going to need to use two hands i'm going to put one wrench on one side one on the other side and, and get them tight don't over don't overdo it because you could strip them out you know they just need to be pretty you know they need to be tight but you know uh, don't don't just start laying into them but just to show you they're pretty easy to screw together like that and so i there and and down here too it's going to be the same thing so uh, one problem I'm running into is that I don't, I forgot my uh, flare tool to cut this line. So for now, I'm gonna have to roll it up and then I'm gonna have to come back another day, uh, pump the refrigerant down and, and uh, uh, run it a little more, get rid of a lot of this line set. But I'm gonna have to do that another day. So basically that's it right there. I'm gonna plug, uh, tighten this up here and tighten it up right here. And, uh, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I got all the nuts tightened up on the line set and I got it down here. I got it curled up and I know I, I need to cut that and make it a little shorter if possible. I have run uh, set up units like this and I've never had no problem running them like this, but it is best if you can shorten the line set, flare them and, and run them straight in. And uh, here's the, the electrical going to the inside unit. Hopefully you can see that in the sun. As I was telling you, the inside, just make sure your colors match inside. So on the inside, it says one, Make sure, like here it's red. Inside says two. You know, you got uh, this one that's black on there. And three, you know, uh, whites on there. And then you got ground. This is gonna be the, this is gonna be the AC, the 210 coming in, which I'm gonna be doing next. And so um, that's basically where I'm at. Okay, so before I put this, uh, this wall cover back on, I just wanted to show you, it's all hooked up. Uh, I got the water line on, it's coming out. This is the drain line. A condensation line whatever you want to call it and I uh, got everything coming out the bottom got all the everything run so 
uh, a lot of lot, most people will have to run this on the outside of the wall. We're lucky enough to be able to run it on the inside. So I just wanted to give you a quick shot on how I'm running that on the inside. And uh, hopefully you can see everything. I need to tuck it in there a little better. But I'm gonna tuck it all in there real nice. And then I'm gonna mount this, uh, go ahead and mount this on there. So that's where I'm at and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I just wanna give a close up before I start buttoning up this electrical. It's, uh, it's all in there this is the voltage. Like I said, this is the voltage right here going 240. I wired up a disconnect right here. So I still get to close it all up and, and get it all done. These disconnects just have a pop in and out. You flip them upside down, one this will be on. Flip it the other way, it be off. But that's basically it. The next step is to uh, hook up a vacuum, which I got right here, and some gauges and start to pump it down. All right, so I'm back and I'm vacuuming it down right now. So I got the this little vacuum, this little $50 unit here, pulling it down. I got it hooked up to the low pressure side. And there's only one place to hook onto. You do need a little adapter when you do these mini splits. There's no big deal. Just make sure you get one. And so basically, I'm just going to sit here and watch this, this blue gauge, which is low pressure. It was at zero when I started. And it's going to pump it down into a vacuum. We basically want to get this whole line set into a vacuum. And then we want to let it sit for like five, ten minutes at least and make sure it holds a vacuum. And that way we don't we know we don't got no leaks. Also, it needs a vacuum before you let the Freon loose. So basically it's getting two things done at the same time. And uh, so I'm gonna let this run for I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes at least, maybe half an hour. And then I'm gonna let this uh, sit for at least like 10, 15 minutes and be sure it holds a vacuum. Uh, below the zero here all right so i'm back and it's i'm backing it down I let the vacuum run for like half an hour 25 minutes half an hour but uh it's been sitting for a good 20 minutes and it's in a negative pressure if it if it was had a leak it would go back up to zero so you know that uh that's good right now i'm going to go ahead and turn this off so we got to let the refrigerant into the system now that we know that the whole line sealed so this is basically the last step you want to do uh, you know, you, you want to vacuum in your lines, in your line set. You want to make sure that there's no leaks or nothing like that. And uh, underneath these caps right here on the side is the refrigerant. So like I said, before you do this, be sure that uh, this is the last step. Make sure you have no leaks. And uh, so all you do is just use an Allen key. And both of these are going to have it. You can hear it running into the system right now. I'm going to go ahead and let this out. Just let it all the way out. And the bottom one too. Gonna let it out. Give it some turns so it comes all the way there. So there it goes, all the refrigerants in the system. And now I'm gonna go ahead and let you loose this line. A little bit of Freon will come out when I do this, but that's okay because it's not letting a vacuum back in. So I'm just gonna do it as quick as I can. And, and that's it, so there's the unit. So next is the to test it out and I uh, see what's going on. It's a good idea with these right here to tighten these down, these uh, bolts on here because sometimes those seals can leak. But, uh, but that's basically it. The next step is going to be uh, testing it out. So I'll be back. All right, so there it is and it's working. It's working nicely. It's got the nice little LED on the front right there. And uh, you can turn it down with the remote, which is pretty nice. And uh, it's cooling down, working, uh, working good. I'm gonna get, can't very hear it very much. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Just a little like a fan blowing. Uh, I'll go outside and show you how it looks out there. And this is it outside. It's all done up with the disconnect and uh, all wired up. You can barely hear it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Sound like a just like a regular fan blowing, not very loud. But that's basically it and uh, how I wire up a, a Senville unit. Uh, be sure to follow the instructions that come with your unit. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, ask me below and I'll try to answer them.